Still got the the chic ditto happening. I, I don't I don't believe Puff's gonna switch it all regardless. Nah. I, I can see if you know I can see Major King switching uh, if he really wanted to, but I uh, I think he's fine with the chic uh, yeah. as well. Honestly, man, like that last game, uh, him about to lose that one was more so on him than Pluff. I mean, Pluff was still playing well. Major King was giving up some free stocks. Yeah, he's definitely gonna stick to this character. He has a lot of history playing. Uh, I believe he has. Well, he has a lot of history just playing Sheik Dittos, Period. Yeah. This guy has the experience. Why opt for another matchup if he goes Marth? I don't think he wants to deal with the punish game that Pluff has. Oh my gosh, Pluff. That was a. Uh, it's pretty interesting right there. We got the back air, and Mitch King did tech it, and then immediately after that, he knew. Like he just knew that Mitch King was taking went for the four air. Very nice. Up right now, just making sure to keep it safe, trying to get these needles from afar. Because if he gets the needles on music, he could potentially link that into a grab or anything. There you go, down throw. Nice. Okay, making sure to grab the edge first so that Mitsu King would get knocked down as he tries to get back on stage. Ooh. Oh man, that sweet spot up smash! Diamond cutter, man. That's it. Every time. The, the dynasty, as you like to call it. Yeah, man. Two stock. Oh, Mutant King needs to watch out. You see these jabs he's going for. Pull up. Will Crouch cancel? Grab them. Literally needs to just like pull down. Is this the problem with King being, you know, or LNA? Uh huh. Uh, well, well, with him being two game behind, is that Plup actually had you know three opportunities basically, to, uh, or two opportunities to pick counter picks. And right now, like yeah, he is doing quite well on this one. I mean, Mutant King finally got his first stock off of Plup, but he's already at fifty one percent on his third. Like he's got a lot of he's got a, he's got a lot of ground to make up. Oh, okay, Mita King right now spacing oh, with these tilts, just keeping Plup right outside, getting these combos going, and now... He made that ground up quick. Yes, we were just did. talking about how far back down he was, and all that second stock uh, from Plup was obliterated. Oh, oh my god. Here we go. Mita King finally turning it up here. Yeah. I think he just, you know, you know how it is, sometimes it takes a really, a really long time to get that first stock to kind of get into your head. Mm -hmm. So like after he got that, you know. Real Mutant King came back. Right. It looks like though, right there, when Plup knocked Mutant King off stage, there was a lot of wasted movement with the multiple wave dashes. He did not get the quick punish. And Mutant King with the quickest reverse fair. Didn't even see it. The moment he appeared on stage, Plup was gone. It's like, wait, where'd he go? There's the neutral layer right there for Plup, man. Plup, honestly, yeah, you know, he got up, he got Mutant King down in his two stocks, and he's just been having a hard time even getting this stock off him right here. This could be it, though. Yep, just poking from right underneath. Those platforms being so low, allowing Plup to just shark Music King with the forward tilt, even with the up tilt. Oh, wow. Plup a little bit too late right there. Oh and now he's God. paying dearly for Look it. Look at the damage he just did to Plup right there, though. Off of one down. Oh, my. Music King. Woo. Firework Mutsu King. Man. Yeah, Plup, uh, yeah. We're, we're, Jeez, we're going to King. Five. We're going Covering. to game five. Jeez. So many options right there. All I see are fireworks, man. Right there, Mutant King, explosive gameplay, Definitely. bringing that, it back. That's Katy Perry gameplay, man. Straight fireworks. That's it.